Oh, wow, that's perfect. Okay. Hey, what is up, guys? Steve here, and it is time to start another stream. So, we're going to go and get started immediately since we got a short stream today. We're going to go ahead and try out this Boros Knight deck that I just stumbled upon. It seemed pretty cool, and uh, since today was going to be a short stream because of the Steelers Browns game, figured might as well get an aggro deck so we can get the most games in. Hey, Angel. So this was the cool thing about the deck is I haven't really seen Worthy Knight be like a, like, uh, hmm, I don't know. It, it's kind of hard to describe Worthy Knight because I haven't seen it used for a ton of value, but I have seen it used for enough value to win people games. And I know with, with an Ember Cleave in the deck, Having extra 1-1 one, one tokens on the board can be very good. So let's go ahead and drop our Worthy Knight. Next turn we can go ahead and drop our other Worthy Knight plus a Vermin Champion. And then the turn after that we might be able to just straight up Ember Cleave. Interesting to see a ginger brute. <sighs> All that glitters. Interesting. So our opponent is racing us. Alright. Nice and pretty there. Alright, things are starting to look pretty up for us, and I highly doubt our opponent's running board wipes, seeing as it, what his colors are. Interesting. That is not going to do him a whole heck of a lot of good when Ember Cleave hits the board. But the Ginger Brute does get bigger. Something to keep note. I, I was going to say, I doubt he attacks but there was a possibility that he could attack um i think i'm going to oh this is a difficult decision because i can attack with all of these but they they would just you know what trading for the ginger brute seems like a not so bad idea and i don't have to attack with, the, with my worthy knights so that makes it even more valuable to me although I could have played the Fervent Champion there. So that's a little bit of my bad. I could have got a little bit extra damage. The cool thing, though, here is that I get to drop the other Fervent Champion and then immediately place the Ember Cleave on it. So that way I don't need to waste any mana with the acclaimed contender so we'll go ahead and see if we lose by one damage but I don't think that will make the difference in the end but we'll see actually it would be two damage because one of the, the fervent champion would be able to pump up something else oh no no I mean I just I just want to see the game it's it's gonna be a great game I watch I specifically watch beginning to end with the sound on the Steelers and the Browns games every single week. So having them play against each other is a must watch. What? Thank you. You coming to see how it's been? It's okay. Sir. It's not okay. All right. Start on the next one. Pretty quick game there. Only a few minutes. Yeah, I'm going to Dad's house. You're gonna go today? Yes. Have and I will take the lawnmower. Yada yada. Mm-hmm. Ooh. If I've got something to pick up, that means my other uh what's it called? Um like my other mm, I guess you would call it like a glowing ring. The thing that makes the, the light. What? I have to take the car out. Okay, so? Because I have the, the lamour in the back. 
Well, yeah. Why would you be... S whatever. Okay, he got rid of Inspiring Veteran, sure. Um, See, this gets difficult, but I think we're just going to have to go with our Rimrock Knight here. Mainly because we need a Claim Contender to get us an extra draw. But it does suck that our Ember Cleave move is now thwarted. And now our Claim Contender play has been ruined. It doesn't get us an extra creature because we need to have another Knight. I think we may just already be done here. Almost in give up mode. If you stream it, they will come. The opponent going first was just too much value. Not able to keep up with. Worthy Knight. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and drop the Worthy Knight. We're going to hold up our God's Willing. And then next turn we can drop the Ember Cleave. Appreciate the follow. Niv Mizzet, yay. Been a while since I saw a Niv Mizzet deck. <sighs> yeah, Tulsimir, that's probably game over. Well, I know the value of our opponent's deck. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Let's go ahead and make this... Let's go ahead and say red. And then I can make this go down to 4 mana, so I cannot use the God's Willing on the Worthy Knight. Oh, wow. I literally picked the only color. I literally, of all five colors, I picked the wrong one. Now I feel pretty stupid. And the Tulsimir is just going to go ahead and kill my acclaimed commander or contender, and we're done there. Not that I think I had a win chance when he, the opponent's holding on to Teferi and Tulsimir, but it does feel bad to make the wrong plays, even if they don't make a difference. But our opponent going first just meant that the opponent was able to get the best of us one turn ahead of time. The protection was okay, it just didn't didn't work out being being second. Alright, not bad, not bad. I'll take that. It's kinda slow, but we do have an acclaimed contender that can get us an extra draw. And we got Worthy Knight to, to go wide. Great. Looks like we might be playing food. Okay. Tamir, maybe. Seven dwarfs. Wow, I think our our deck is just so incredibly janky that uh, it's actually going to go kind of well for us. And this does plus two, plus oh, so it actually doesn't do me a whole heck of a lot of good. But, let's see. The other knights, these are human tokens, so... I generally want to get more attacks in while I still can, so let's go ahead and just do that. Because I'm going to be able to get the attack in. Go ahead and play this for value with our one mana. Alright, next turn, if we draw a land, we got Worthy Knight Rimrock. If we do not draw a land, we just got to claim Contender. Another seven dwarves. Okay, interesting. 
Alright, so it's... <laughs> well, that is definitely interesting. Um... I could go Worthy Knight Tribunal. But I think a Claim Contender Tribunal is probably just the best way to go. I wanted to be able to attack with two Kree. Oh, perfect. Well, that worked out. All right, and then next turn, we've got a very easy Ember Cleave play. I think that should go go quite well. Can't imagine our opponent's going to stop our board too easily, especially with only two mana. Uh, it's a quiet day. Thursday is never a very good day for streaming. Uh, because of the... I see interested observers around. Um, but generally Thursday is not a great day to stream just because of the, the tournament that's every week. The big tournament. Can't remember the name of it. Um, you know, it's got all the, the pros and the big streamers in it every single week. The, the Fandom Legends tournament is on Saturday, or on Thursdays usually, so... Don't expect to get a, a large viewer base on Thursday. Mm, fervent champion into... Oh, we can't use the light up the stage because there's no red mana, but I could still go fervent champion and an inspiring veteran and possibly tribunal. Guess we'll just have to see how the lions work out. We do go second, so we get to react. I'm not a fan of going second, especially with a hyper aggressive deck like this one. Hey, look, we got red anyways. Beautiful. So we can play our light up the stage next turn after attacking and see what we can get off of it. Generally, this deck is a whole bunch of small creatures and ember cleave. So the only thing we really don't want to get off of the light up the stage is an ember cleave because it would be too expensive. All right, he's not going to block with the paradise druid. I have no doubt about that. Obviously, because it would be first striked. Waste of two mana. Uh, if we don't get a land and we don't get a creature we can play off the light of the stage, we'll probably just have to drop the planes in order to hold up God's Willing. Not a fan of that move. That would be quite the last ditch effort. <laughs> Oof. Gotta say that's rough. I might even just play the God's Willing just for the uh, the scry. Because we've got another God's Willing in a hand, and that at least allows us to go into the Tribunal. Alright, so I theoretically could... Uh, he's not going to make the Fervent Champion a 3-3, so we're not really doing a whole lot. It, it doesn't matter. The Oko is just a problem. And at least got away from the land. At least we get to get rid of the Oko with our Tribunal, so there is that. So, a little bit happy about that. But, I don't think it's going to change the whole course of the game. Because now we're just kind of stuck. we got too many lands. Not enough creatures. And we got a little bit of protection in hand. But I'm not really sure how useful that's going to be. And got another removal spell. If he gets another Oko. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's 
That's not good for me. I don't want a God's Willing just so I could use Light Up the Stage. So I think I'm just going to play Light Up the Stage early. I'm not going to get to play my... <sighs> that sucks. I'm really missing out on my land drops for these, uh, these Light Up the Stages. Uh, am I playing in Twitch Rivals? No, just playing regularly constructed. Oh, next week? Well, still, that that's a big no. In fact, I, I hardly even know what Twitch Rivals is. They don't invite me to a whole bunch of these things. Well, looks like I can't play my acclaimed contender because I have to use the tribunal. Just really, there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I could play the inspiring veteran, but I'm still going to be down a whole lot more life. Oko and Nisa generally are not easy cards to come back. And our opponent playing this slow is also twice as annoying. Angel, could you, like, calm down with, with the fonts? I mean, just like your caps were scaring people, the fonts are making you look really... Well, unfortunately, to say it, retarded. <laughs> like, the whole beginning and last part of that is just unreadable. I don't even know why I'm playing this. Jesus Christ, Oko and Anissa and Anissa... That's just insane. <sighs> You'd think a deck that's doing as poorly as this one would match up a little bit more favorably. Get some opponents. Because we're not exactly playing the... Wow, that is... That is rough. I've got no white for God's willing. Hey, same cage. Yeah, this was a very tough keep. In fact, I really didn't want to keep it, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. The cool thing about Venerable Knight is I don't have to, like, play it on turn one and be like, Oh, man, I missed value like that other knight that did the in indestructible. He's not going to sack his priest. There's no way. Chandra, and he's going to get to sack a witch's oven. Or sack with witch's oven. Oh, he gets sack with priest of the forgotten gods. That's... Oof. That is... That is rough. Wish I could do something about it. I'm getting out janked here. Oh wait, I can pump him up to 4-4, get rid of the Chandra. Nice. And I've got a 1-1 uh, a one -one to sack now.
Bourbon champion. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Especially since I already have a land at the top. Alright. So we got three creatures. Drop our tournament grounds. That's four mana with three creatures. There, our Ember Cleave theoretically can be played for three. So if one of our creatures dies, we can still play the Ember Cleave. Oh yeah, this was a this is gonna go well. Now we get to make our choice of Ember Cleave targets. Alright. You know what? They're all good. We're going to pick the Worthy Knight because that's most likely going to be the Ember Cleave target. Let's see. Hold on. If I God's willing it. Let's see. That goes. No, it's only 12 damage. Okay. Um. So let's see. God's Willing puts. Or I mean, Ember Cleave makes this uh, 6, 12 damage, 14 damage. Inspiring Veteran would allow me to go over the Midnight Reaper, and I could still hold up the God's Willing. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the with the Ember Cleave here. Or I mean, uh, the Inspiring Veteran here, because theoretically I can still just move the Ember Cleave next turn if if I really need to, or the opponent just gives up. Meh, but then again, it would have been just better if I picked the 5-4. Mm, but then I would have lost a plus 1-1 one, one to all creatures. So, there's there was... There was... Reasons for both sides. Wow, a creatureless hand. I mean, personally, I didn't think this deck was possible to mulligan with, but I mean, I guess when you get a hand like this, there is something to mulligan. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll probably draw a land before turn three. Sir Gwain. Um, I think this deck is all about speed. I don't, I just don't think it would fit. Also, I don't really remember which one that is. Uh, whenever the creature you control attacks you. Oh, God. Yeah, that one was, that one's like six mana. It doesn't fit the colors. It's it's too expensive. Yeah, it it wouldn't fit in in this deck in the slightest. Well, I think our opponent's playing Clarion in his deck, so I'm toast, right? Yep. Of course he plus ones. That. 
Oh, that feels like so much damage I could have done to his face that I just had to do. Why not? Man, this deck can't wait for an Oko ban. This deck is just unplayable right now. Unfortunately, I can't attack or do anything because, uh,. Well, they would all die immediately to the dragon. So, if I get a land, I could play the Ember Cleave, or I could just sacrifice one of the creatures so I could play the Ember Cleave. Wow, just wow. Well, I mean, this deck's biggest enemy is Board Wipe, and we played against two decks that had Board Wipe, so it's just kind of a bummer. On the bright side, we we did poor enough so we could... Oh, not bad, not bad. We did poor enough to where we can play another Constructed. And 100 gold is not bad for for finishing my dailies. Uh, try the Gruel variant. Oh, I mean, if I were, if I were just, you know, to play to try... Then I well regardless I uh, I pick I pick a deck and then I stick with the deck that's just kind of how it works because then because then I post that deck to YouTube and uh, we don't want to be a liar or we don't really want to change things up in the middle all right let me go to my spreadsheet uh, we just went three and three. This is 11, 14, this is Boros, <laughs> Boros, ah, not, B-O-N-I, I got three uncommons, there we go, updated. I mean, I like the looks of this deck, I just think this deck royally sucks against board wipes and uh, and going second okay for a second there I thought that was gonna be uh, I thought that was gonna be the o2 bird that you know it's gonna be an Oko deck and he's just like good game I got the god hand I like this I haven't seen somebody played C well, that's not how you spell Siege. Sedge, Scorpion? I think I might have to go with the Worthy Knight just to wide my board enough for the Embercleave. Hmm... I could get risky and try and go with the light up the stage, but then that's really risky because there's a possible chance that I don't get a land. Hey, lul lul uh, Lullaby. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I think we're just going to do the Worthy Knights. They trade for his creatures. The 1-1 the one -one counters trade for his creatures. Hopefully we could just top deck the land. That's... What I'd really like. Are they really worthy? We'll see. I mean, it would be really nice to get a land.
Why did I see that coming when I saw him click on the scorpion? Oh well. I mean, you're definitely not gonna outrace me. I've got an ember cleave. But let's hope let's hope we get a land. Ooh, ooh, that's 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 rough. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to keep up with a love struck beast because my biggest creature is still a claim, a claim contender, and a claim contender still doesn't, uh, doesn't tussle well with the the likes of a love struck beast. Almost like I I just have to straight up trade when it comes to love struck beast. Uh, trade like a worthy knight I mean a, a venerable knight or an acclaimed contender I don't understand what the opponent's waiting for he's just really slow I mean, we got 30 minutes before I got to head off. Then again, I guess there's no there's no real hurry here. I can go wide. What a shock. I don't know if anybody saw that play coming, guys. Oh, now that's interesting. This is actually enough mana to play Ember Cleave and Rimrock. So I can I can absolutely kill the Lovestruck Beast if I want. Welcome, friend. Take a seat at the Royal seat. Appreciate the follow. I hope he blocks Worthy Knight into Lovestruck Beast. That's the goal. Because I'll be able to Rimrock Knight plus uh, Ember Cleave. Really? That's your block? Well, I can't move the... The Rimrock only does plus two, which makes it three. Ember Cleave makes it four, so I can't first strike the Lovestruck Beast. Bummer. I'm sorry, but I mean, I gotta speed this guy up. It's gonna be a short stream. Especially at the rate this guy's playing. Should have pumped the champ. I can't pump the champion. Champion's the one that does the pumping. It specifically says other creature on it. I guess our opponent doesn't know how first strike works. Well, regardless of of how it works, Rimrock does plus two, which makes the fir which makes the knight go up to three. Then the uh, the Ember Cleave makes it go up to four. But regardless, that still doesn't that means the uh, Love Struck Beast does not get first striked, and that's what that's what matters the most. How many games in the con constructed event? Uh, we actually just finished. This is the first one into the second. 
Went three and three the first one. No, Knight Knight Agra is definitely not the new meta. This entire deck is thwarted by a single Clarion or a single uh, Oko or a single Nisa. Like this deck has got so many counters. Um, I do think the Rakdos one stands a, a shot. Wow, that is unfortunate. Like, oh, holy. Oh, my. Uh, venerable Knight. Would I be able to block everything? Yes, yes, I would. Okay, there we go. That's not terrible. So let's see. Can I do 9 damage? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I can do much more than enough. Okay. Well, yeah. It, it goes to say this deck dies to any, any board wipe whatsoever. So let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I could I could actually block with everything except one. Four. Or actually, I could just block with Worthy Knight and one token. Because to be honest, the double strike the double strike is just good enough. But he did play a giant growth. So I am gonna gonna prepare for a giant growth. I don't know what kind of shenanigans he's going to come up with, so I'm just going to go ahead and block with everything except the Acclaim con Contender. Because that's where the the Ember Cleave's going to end up. But it does suck giving him this many trades. Just be... Just because of the fact that I can, I can kill it with so much less. But he's already played one giant growth, and I'm not gonna, not gonna play around another. If it's another Hydra, then I'm just toast, anyways, aren't I? What in the world is that? Okay. Hmm. Oh wait, he's forced to block. And whenever he casts a spell at targets. Okay, so I'm actually fine there. Yeah, the trample means that he has to block with one of those two. He's got no choice. He definitely can't finish me off. I'd probably block with just the Love Struck Beast. He could actually kill me with a triple block, or kill my acclaimed contender with a triple block. If he's smart enough to see that. Which it appears he is. Mm. Alright, well, the Lovestruck Beast can't attack, and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of his ability to consider drawing. But I, Oh, wait, actually, I get to kill both, because, yeah, because of the double strike. Duh, I'm stupid. Rhino, okay. Alright, he needs a blocker for the Rimrock, so I don't think he will be attacking. Okay, well, um, 
Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this now. And see what see what he's got going on in here. Because I think he's got a pump spell. And if it is a pump spell, then this should be victory. And it looks like it is. Not like it's a big victory, because our opponent was playing a deck that no one has ever seen up, seen before. A.K.A. something jank. Super, super jank. Like, like I, I can't imagine building a deck like that. I mean, it was a mono green deck, but I just don't understand that, that card that does the target and draw a card. I've never seen that been played before. I mean, I guess it was like a super cheap version of Stompy then. Because I, I, I didn't, I don't think I saw any rares in that deck. I don't think Lovestruck Beast is a rare. Wow, this one could really go a lot of wrong ways. I mean, going second... I feel, and with the, with the scry, I feel like I could probably draw into creatures, but this one could really go anybody's way. Oh my god, of course I drew a land. What's the best substitute? Well, you can't play Tyrant anyways, but uh, they do already have lists out there for, uh, oh, it's... It's like, it's, it's UG counters, isn't it? It is. Bummer. Um, but they already have lists out there. Uh, I do not believe it was Nor Yorvo. That does not sound familiar. I'm not sure there was a, re a specific replacement. Now that I, I honestly think about it. Unfortunately, I have to pay my only white mana to use the Tribunal, and it's obviously going to get countered. I probably should have tapped the Venerable Knight just so I could have avoided the quench, but at least it didn't get quenched. I didn't think he would block. Um, I don't believe Ferrix is right in the deck. It The deck does indeed uh, have some non-creature spells in it, so I'm not sure Ferrix really fits. I mean, the list, I've got a list on, on Aether Hub already. I just don't remember what it looks like. Hey, Dan Piano. Welcome. Well, guess I might as well. I do not have victory, unfortunately, with. Oh, wait! Oh, no, I still don't have victory. Oh, thank you. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much, Dan Piano, um, for the gifted subs. I didn't even know Adamant was watching today. Um, 
let's see. There's a lot of avenues I can go through here. Um... Gonna see if I can try something. Brazen Burwer? I think not, sir. I will go ahead and pick blue. Another Ember Cleave, don't need it. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, he doesn't even get to play the Brazen Burrow as a creature, thank you very much. Nice, nice. Oh, and uh, bye bye doggy. Oh, guys, guys, this is great. That was just beautiful. I mean, you just could, couldn't have couldn't have made it better there. Oh, that was that was masterfully outplaying the opponent. Two zero. Uh, Dan Piano, if you didn't uh, didn't already know, we've got uh, a short stream today because I'm going to be catching the Brown Steelers game at my dad's house, so I'm going to be leaving twenty minutes early. Wow. Thank you, thank you very, very much there, uh, Dan Piano. I I cannot explain how much I appreciate it in words. It's been a while since uh, since Warlord was tested. No one's really... Uh, oh, you're the gift leader? Really? I did not notice that. So wait, the old gift leader was a knight. Unless the gift leader resets, because I think A Knight's still done more than four, if I don't recall. Oh, the, okay. So you can actually, at the top, there's a little thing you can you can swipe to the right. Instead of bits, there's also a gifted subs, uh, top three. Okay, I see you are the leader of that. Interesting. Yeah, I did. Uh, I just saw that there was an update that said something about gifted subs. I I kind of didn't really read it, but yeah, I guess uh, now gifted subs and uh, cheers now reset every so often. Why in the world would he do this unless he's got some sort of combat trick that I don't know of? There's the combat trick. Ooh, innkeeper. So let's see. I could do Rimrock and Venerable Knight, and that basically guarantees an Ember Cleave next turn. Or I can not pay and just do the Venerable Knight and Rimrock. And then I could get it extra I can get extra value out of my out of the situation. I didn't think so. So next turn, I can do an all attack and drop out the Ember Cleave. Okay. Love Struck Beast does bother me because the Love Struck Beast will, will kill whatever I, I send out. Uh, there is definitely a tournament Saturday. There's a tournament every Saturday. Ooh. Inspiring veteran and then tribunal seems like just a good good outlet. Um
get rid of the love struck beast. Get some extra attacks in. And then next turn, Ember Cleave for the win. I think I played that one out very well. And that can't block. And I have no flyers. Alright, we'll, we'll see how he blocks and then we'll pick our Ember Cleave from there. But I'm pretty sure we got a guaranteed victory. Alright, so I move the Ember Cleave over to this Venerable Knight and I believe that guarantees victory. Yep, and then the Inspiring Veteran goes through for two and we win. Oh, oh yeah, I, I forgot about the rest. <laughs> uh, three O, not bad. But my god, uh, thank you for coming uh, back with a... In a really big way there, Dan Piano. I appreciate it with the gifted subs. It's been a while since I had gifted subs. And that brings my sub count up to 20. Nice. Unfortunately, I do not have my uh, my note card anymore that uh, said. Oh, hmm. Anyways, let's just get back to the game. Yeah, I saw Angel's text isn't like gibberish. It's just upside down. So I guess we're going to go with... Uh, I'm curious if we should go for the guaranteed damage off the Fervent Knight, or if we go Venerable Knight and then double Fervent Knight next turn. Because then double Fervent Knight on top of the Venerable Knight seems like I get the most value out of all of the damage that I'm about to do. Because if I just drop the Fervent Knight, that's, that's one damage. Whereas if I drop the Venerable Knight and then double Fervent next turn, then I get double Pump... And that's just going to be significantly more than if I just dropped the Venerable Knight and the other champion. Yeah, I think I just talked myself into it. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. Okay, well now, now the play became a little bit less optimal because I drew that other Fervent Knight, which means I could have triple Fervent Knight. Aw, oh, you're able to get the entire cat in in the camera. Well, even while it's stretching. No point in pumping Venerable Knight just because it doesn't get first strike. Alright, very quick victory there. Going first was definitely the key to winning that game. Literally no skill, just going first. I think this deck really tears the game up when it goes first. It's It definitely benefits the most going first. Hey, Shadow. Okay, not bad, not bad. Don't get a turn one champion, but I am going second, so that does suck a little bit. <laughs> I guess we're going Temple of Triumph into Worthy Knight. Although we could always top deck a red mana, that would be pretty nice.
I find it difficult if I want to, like, if I do top deck red mana, if I want to turn to light up the stage or not. Because I have not been very lucky with the light up the stages so far. But we've got about 6 to 16 minutes. Because I, I do not want to finish after 8.10 because it's, it's a 20 minute drive to my dad's house. I right, did not get the land. Alright, there's the land. So I want to try and finish between the 8 and 10, 8.10 mark. No later than 8.10. Alright, so then after this turn we got Worthy Knight into Fervent Champion. Get two extra little 1-1s. One this dude does not have Trample. So at least we've got that going for us. That dude, however, does have Trample. <sighs> but on the nice... The nice thing is, though... Uh, Alright, hold on. Uh, another target attack. Uh, that's a bit rough. I'm not sure I want to do a block just because of how big this guy can make other creatures. What does that do? Okay. Oh my. Oh my my. Still, in the end, unless he's got another Colossus, it shouldn't be a terrible turn. Now, I think I might have to do an ex do a little bit of extra blocking, so that's going to suck a little bit. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. Oh, yeah, we're blocking with with more than what we just need I'm I'm gonna over block because of an extra Colossus that he might have I'm not ending the game because of a Colossus and we'll we'll know because of how much land he leaves open Okay, so he's still got Colossus mana open, and now he doesn't. That's perfect. All right, we've got to tap the little the little guys. Because we really need to get to an attack in so I could use the light up the stage. I gotta get, get that damage in. And still leave blockers so I don't die to a uh, another Colossus. Oh! Oh, talk about guaranteed victory if I live right here. And that, that once upon a time is not helping. Oh, he done. He's very done. We're going to overblock to the max. I, which, I wonder which one scared him off more, the Ember Cleave or the God's Willing? Alright, I think we got time for one more. Yeah, one more should definitely fit me right into that window. How long are we streaming for? We're streaming for this is the last game. I'm going to try and fit between the 8 and 8.10 window because it's going to take me 20 minutes to drive over to my dad's house. And then I'm watching the Steelers 
Browns game. Actually, I should see if kickoff time is still 8.30. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, oh, it's an 8.20 game. Well, theoretically, I should finish now. Uh, can you raid into a certain channel? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. What channel do you have in mind? Oh, thanks. I appreciate it, man. Just in case you're wondering, I don't I don't really see whispers because of uh it's because of the new dashboard. Uh what's what's the channel called? Yeah, it, it's it's just showing up as asterisks to me too. I don't know if that's maybe that maybe that is something. It's just it it's just a him thing. Uh, hold on, let me see see if that works. Oh, Emberkley, perfect. I, I don't see it, no. Um, Alright, hold on. I can switch over to the other dashboard, and you can whisper it to me. I just don't like using the other dashboard. Dashboard, and you can whisper it to me. Oh. I just don't like... Alright, you can whisper it to me now. I've got the other dashboard open. Oh, he just let all the damage go through. Oh, he's going to probably wait until I target something, isn't he? Well, he should have waited before I targeted something. That was stupid. I'll take the da guaranteed damage. Thank you very much. So let's see, next turn I've got Inspiring Veteran, which brings him up to 4-4. Four, four. God's Willing makes him go through unblocked. Oh, he's got the life gain though. That's okay. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, I don't have guaranteed victory because uh, that's 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. I could have... Oh, no, I wouldn't have enough white mana anyways. Oh, well, now it would be guaranteed victory. I forgot about the pump. Oh, well, I don't have enough white mana anyways. It's fine. Alright, I'd very much like to see how the opponent makes a comeback here. Open a new tab. Uh, follow. Alright. Yeah, he should be on my my list when I when I click host. This is going to be really sweet move right here. Uh 
Oh, crap. Okay, well, I, I just made it so it, it wouldn't target. Oh, well, good game anyways. All right, well, I got to go. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for sticking around. Let me go ahead and click host on this guy. Connecting and host.